My name is Yumin Huang, and I'm attending Cooper Union School of Art this fall. I, the, my teachers in Ashkan, they went to Cooper Union, and I think talking with them really persuaded me to think that that school is the right choice for me. And I also really like the small community in that school compared to other universities that I applied to. Me, personally, um, my portfolio, whole portfolio was about my illness with lupus. And so I like I was really inspired by like other artists who did a lot of storytelling artworks. And so I used like my own journey, journal entries and like my own like experience with the illness to come up with the ideas and like to share it what um like the thoughts I had through my recovery process to get inspiration. All of it is about me because it's about my illness and um, my own experience and it did have like similarity like of me like tendency to use like cooler colors in my tone and well I started like really being into art when um like I was sick and I was homeschooled and I had a lot of free time to myself. And so I think it started with me trying to express how I feel, but just me trying to create artworks that are meaningful to me. And so um, I would try to um, listen more to myself and um, think of the things that really represent me. And I think that's what like kept me along in creating ideas and making art. I had a lot of free time to myself. I was like homeschooled for years and I, um, because lupus is like an illness where it gets affected by the sun, I was mostly kept indoors and it really kept me busy and it really helped me get my mind off um, of like thinking about um, stressing about my illness, which um, doesn't really get better uh, because like I stress about it. So. so at first, like I didn't know we were supposed to submit sketchbooks. I, I didn't know that could be a part of the portfolio. And I started just recording things like the process and everything, because I personally like um, like journaling and like recording all of my like just as to keep it as a memory. So I, at first I started to like collect like the small like piece leftover pieces that I use for my artworks to just cherish it and just look back and remember. And then I realized I could also submit it. So I also started like collecting reference images and also like small experimentations that I made. And just, I think mostly sketchbook is a place where I just jot down everything that comes to mind and start making like mind map and just um, build off my ideas where I can just look back and also just like reuse ideas or just um, think about the process and how I got to the final idea. And um, I think it's also important to like have like sample pieces and like the experimental pieces before actually starting on a big piece. Coming to Ashkan, there's so many talented students. I I just, I couldn't help myself but to compare because there's just artworks everywhere. <laughs> but um, I personally, my artworks are very colorful. They're very um, almost like cartoonish kind of illustration-y, which may look childish. So that was my biggest worry when I was like applying to schools because when I see like like contemporary art or like the artist in the like museum or something it's very conceptual and so I would prepare my art to that and I'll think um oh maybe my art's too childish or maybe my art's too direct in like um expressing a message then um I realized um looking at more examples from the like the students works that got into like very good schools I realized that like there's not a single similarity in, in like all of the artworks there. You can't really group them into one. And um, so there's no really like a track that I need to follow to be, to, for it to be considered a good art. I personally just really love art. So I think that what like kept me motivated to like also like keep doing it. But also I was very, I think I was a very anxious student. I was always current, like, because I like, had this thought that like, oh, I started late. So I was constantly um, worried that I wouldn't be able to make it in time. And so my worry just kept me coming to like, I also had this mindset where um, because it's a portfolio, this has, uh, this has to be like the set of artworks 
like the best set of artworks I've made in my whole like life so far. Mm -hmm. And so that pressure really made me be more hardworking. And so I didn't want to regret um, thinking back like, oh, I could have like done it better. I could have like worked even harder. I was c confident before coming to Ashkin. <laughs> I was always like very be willing like if a teacher tells me to do that I'll be doing something else and so like I didn't really work well in like a class environment so I just always had this confidence where like oh I'm like the best artist in the classroom or something but coming to Ashkin and seeing so much talented students I think I was really pressured and then starting then I actually really started to stress like oh maybe maybe like there's much more great artists than I thought there was <laughs> Definitely the brainstorming part um, still traumatizes me. I <laughs> Sometimes I would just come to Ashkan and the whole day, like for like eight hours, I would just sit in the desk and um, do nothing. But actually, I was just like brainstorming. I, I remember spending like two or three days um, in a row where I didn't make any art. I was just brainstorming in my sketchbook and I couldn't think of ideas. And I think... That was most mentally draining and like physically draining for me. After you make all of like the brainstorming part and you just plan out everything, you have a very um, specific visual of like what you want to represent with your art and what you want the audience to like think when they first see the art. I think making the art itself is just an enjoying process. No, and I also um, our family like doesn't know anything about art. We didn't have any like surrounding like relatives or anyone who did art. Um, so it was like very new for us. Um, I think Ashkin was a great place where we actually got to learn like all of those things. If they have a lot of time beforehand, I would start collecting maybe reference images, maybe just start jotting down whatever like interests them. Um, like for me, it was my recovery, so I used my diaries to think, uh, think of ideas and everything. I think it's important to start collecting anything that you would want to collect, that you would want to put in a portfolio. Whatever, whatever inspires you, I think I would start collecting. Like what really draws me is what uh, makes me feel something. So when I like make art, I try to imitate that by like having like very dramatic texture or like very dramatic like expressive things that would almost make the audience feel like the pain or like feel a strong emotion when they see the artwork like when i first started the portfolio process i had a lot of i collected a lot of reference images that really relate to that Ashcan Art offers art portfolio preparation classes year-round. Contact us at infomanhattan at ashcanart.com and see the classes we offer at www.ashcanart.com. You can see us on Instagram at ashcanart and please subscribe below for more art portfolio tips.